It's convenient, quick, and for some drivers, it's been costly. Fake QR code scams are on the rise, targeting pay-to-park systems in South Florida. City officials in Fort Lauderdale say they've spotted fraudulent codes in at least seven different lots and garages, while local police tell CBS 12 News that they haven't received any reports here. They're still warning drivers to pay close attention before scanning. CBS 12's Katie Benty joins us from the Ave in Delray Beach tonight with what you need to know. In areas like here at the Ave in downtown Delray Beach, you're just grateful to find a spot. You can see it gets pretty busy, but when you're in a rush trying to pay for parking on your phone, you might not realize where your money's being sent to. And that's exactly what these scammers are counting on. Oh, you got scams everywhere, but this probably, probably tastes the cake. In the rush to pay to park, scammers are counting on you not to think twice. This is just another layer that nowadays with technology and everything is so mobile that you have to think about. This fake QR code was spotted on parking signs in Fort Lauderdale this week. When scanned, it takes you to a seemingly legitimate site. You think you're paying to park, but you're actually giving away your bank info. Using this information to maybe get into your bank account, take your money, find your address, all types of things, you know, it's kind of scary. Honestly, it is a bit scary, so I don't know how we would um, verify. We use these all the time. Experts say broken links to privacy policies or terms of service is a red flag. And if the QR code looks like a sticker, it's probably a scam. Legitimate codes in Delray Beach are embedded into signs, not stuck on the surface. Parking officials say the safest way to pay is to open the Park Mobile app yourself instead of scanning a random code. Delray Beach police say they're aware of this scam in places like Fort Lauderdale, but have not had any cases reported here. Reporting in Delray Beach, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News. Hi, I'm Liz Kidantis. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.